Hope most of you the PC gamers right now have heard of the next Intel CPU, the Tiger Lake. If not, then you're at the right place to know everything about the Tiger Lake. First of all, the Intel Tiger Lake CPUs will appear in gaming machines, not just desktop PCs. Anyway, Tiger Lake chips will be built on a 10nm plus process, the first computers to use it will be shipped later this year. The XE graphics architecture will also be used for a discrete GPU benchmark suits on the cloud, remain one of the more reliable methods to track upcoming releases, and it looks like Intel's upcoming Tiger Lake processors will pack quite the graphical punch. Featuring 96 EUs with a clock speed of 1.2 GHz, the Intel's GPU is capable of outputting the same graphical horsepower as a Sony PS4. The EEC has the scoop on some early examples of Tiger Lake that are currently being shipped to system integrators. The leak in question appears to come from Intel's lab directly as the driver in use is release internal. The Intel Tiger Lake iGPU is paired with a CPU that has a base clock of 3.1 GHz and should be more than capable of handling the compute side of games. At these power levels, Intel's Tiger Lake is set to revolutionize how we see integrated graphics. However, Tiger Lake is rumored to bring even stronger generational IPC gains for the CPU. According to Intel's Greg Bryant, who spoke last month at CES 2020, Tiger Lake will deliver a double-digit performance uplift compared to Ice Lake. And when it comes to the integrated XE GPU, Intel says that it will offer a huge leap in performance over the Gen 11 graphics in Ice Lake. It would make sense that Intel is sending out these development boards so that its partners can begin the process of developing their next-generation consumer laptops and mobile workstations that will be built around Tiger Lake. The standard Tiger Lake processors, the low-power mobile successors to the current 10th Gen Ice Lake CPUs, have moved into the beta phase of testing out with their respective laptop manufacturers. That likely means we'll see Tiger Lake machines in production for the lucrative back-to-school market around September, and that computers is going to lousy with Tiger Lake laptops ahead of launch. Intel's Tiger Lake H will be the first time we'll see the 10nm process, given a heap of power and hopefully hefty, and a sustained clock speeds too. The H-series processors have traditionally been 45 watt parts and been capable of hitting impressively high frequencies to complement the discrete GPUs they're normally paired with in gaming laptops. Strangely, it seems that the new standard will not be faster than Thunderbolt 3. The details are scarce, but Intel says it's four times faster than USB 3.1 at 10 gigabytes per second, meaning it tops out at 40 gigabytes per second. The same speed as V3. The new Thunderbolt standards use the same plug as USB-C and compatible with it. Late last month, benchmark numbers for a 4-core to 8-thread Tiger Lake U processor clocked at 2.3 GHz leaked to the internet. While overall performance for the processor was commendable, what was very notable was its dominant single-core performance compared to even the Core i7. Intel's Tiger Lake mobility processor is essentially the DG1 in a mobility form factor, considering the specs and architecture they are exactly the same. The only difference is of the power draw, and depending on whether this is a 25-watt part or a 15-watt part would make a huge difference. That said, I am fairly confident that this GPU is going to beat the crap out of NVIDIA's MX150 and probably even the MX250. In fact, to that effect, I am hearing that NVIDIA will be slashing prices of its entry-level lineup and is preparing the MX350 to go up against Tiger Lake. Sadly though, despite the fact that a 45-watt mobile processor would be getting awfully close to desktop specifications, it doesn't look like we're going to get a Tiger Lake S series of desktop chips to worry the best CPU for gaming lists. There is still yet another 14nm generation set to drop ahead of the first 10nm desktop processors. This have the name? Rocket Lake S. The only concerning thing right now, as far as I am concerned is Intel's ability to meet demand, which could end up being the saving grace for NVIDIA's MX lineup. Though some have speculated that maybe Intel will launch the Tiger Lake H chips simply in the lower echelons of the 11th Gen H series and have another line of high-powered 14nm mobile processors taking care of the serious 45-watt gaming business. And people, one thing I must say to close this is that Intel's Tiger Lake graphics are going to change the face of entry-level graphics in the mobility industry forever.
So what are your thoughts on this CPU that is about to change the game in processors and integrated graphics processors? Let us know your amazing ideas on this CPU in the comment, we are ever ready to know what you got for us. Also if this is your first time being on this channel, then hit the big red subscribe button below and turn on the notification to stick to the gaming tiger for more latest rumors on games and gaming tech. Thanks for watching.